Hello everyone, welcome back to Wrong Note Bros. You are here with Wrong Note Southern yet again and we are back for another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be speaking about myself. I know, I've been on the channel for some amount of years now and it came to me, but I haven't really spoke about myself much. So now is your chance to get to know the man behind the mask, the man behind the characters, such as Smoke, Harper, and also Tyler Greenfilch. Without any further wait, it's time for you to get to know me. This is Five Facts About Ewan. Fact number one. I have only ever broken one bone in my life. A lot of you might be thinking, was it your arm? Was it your leg? No, it was my toe. I broke my toe when I was in second year at school by kicking a curb out of anger. Then I learned that I need to control my anger because I don't want another broken toe. Because believe it or not, it was actually quite sore. Like, I walked around the school for two days two days without going to get it checked by a doctor. And then when I did, they told me it was broke and there's nothing they can do for a broken toe. There's nothing. It needs to heal by itself. I mean, what was the point in going to the doctors in the first place? Now, fact number two I'm going to tell you about is one of my favourite things to do, which is travelling. Now, I'm going to tell you my favourite place to travel, which would have to be the little Spanish island of Malaga and Bel Medina because that's where I go a lot. I've got family over there and I go oh, at least once a year. Well, I'm only just back. I was away in March well, for 10 days and I'm not like, obviously it's May, but I'm not on back from it. And the place is just beautiful. I would urge anybody to go and check out. It is really, really a nice place to go. What a friendly bars, what English bars, what a Scottish bars, Irish bars. All of them are definitely worth what you pay to go because it's all very, very cheap. Fact number three about me is going to be about my favourite celebrity role model, somebody I look up to. And a lot of people are going to comment down below about this, but it is Cristiano Ronaldo. Nothing to do with his football in excellence, nothing to do with the way he looks. It is about his mentality that I like. It's the winning mentality, which is... If I'm going to play this game, I've got to be the best. And that's what I want to do for this YouTube channel is I want to play it and be the best at it. But yes, that is fact number three. Number four now. And it is going to be regarding my favourite fictional character, i.e. books and movies only and TV shows and stuff like that, you know. And that has got to be Spider-Man. Now, there has been many renditions of Spider-Man. There's been the Sam Raimi ones who had Tobey Maguire in it, there's been the Sony ones which had Andrew Garfield or it's been the oh, the ones that are out on Disney right now I went to go call it the ultimate but that's also on Disney um, it is Marvel Spider-Man with Tom Holland they are my favourite fictional characters be well they are because they're all three in different universes if you've seen No Way Home they are my favourite fictional characters because who wouldn't want to just jump about swimming, sw swimming, swinging places, you know, just cutting about, just doing this all the time, just getting to where you need to go, rapid. Fact number five, folks, is going to be about my favourite movie. What is Ewan's favourite movie, people may ask? Is it Spongebob the movie? That was it for a while. Is it Spider-Man? Again, it was it for a while. It was the No Way Home one. Best one, may I add. It is... Top Gun Maverick. I'm trying not to, I'm doing my Top Gun smile, mate. I'm doing my Top Gun smile. It is hands down a cinematic masterpiece. I don't care what nobody else says. Top Gun Maverick is a cinematic masterpiece. It utter thrills from start to finish with a little bit of emotion in the middle. A lot of you might be wondering, Ewan, were you crying Top Gun Maverick? Yes, yes I was! And if you have a problem with that, 
that's okay, because you might not like the movie. But I did. I loved it. It's just how it all happens. If you've seen the first one, yes, it's old. It's really old. But it's vintage. It is vintage movie masterpieces. That's what Top Gun is. And the fact is that Tom Cruise managed to get it off the ground again and make a new generation feel Top Gun. If that makes any sense to anyone that's seen it, to feel it, it's amazing how he's done it, in all honesty. Because if you hadn't have done it this time, a lot of people growing up never really knew what Top Gun was. Unless you went out and looked for it. Because it is on Amazon Prime. But you wouldn't have looked for it. So they've went out and they've remastered it, so to speak, for this generation going forward to see it. What can I say? It's a classic. Ladies and gentlemen, I know this was a short video. Which is uh, not usual for me, but I'm sorry. What can I say? I thought this would be a wee fun kind of short video for you to get to know me in. If you want me to do a part two of this, please leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know you want a part two. Um, yes. You know the rules by now. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't, don't bother leaving a dislike. Subscribe if you are new. And I will catch you on the other side of the Piccadilly Circus. Catch you.